Just want to do a little bit of an update for this week. Been a bit quiet. Um, kids are on holiday for four days as well. Um, long, long weekend. Um, so I predominantly not doing much in the last few days because it's very difficult what the kids are about. Uh, but also, uh, I think we'll go out and do something tomorrow. Um, weather's not been great. That's a bit. Here in Spain, it's been a bit windy and a little bit overcast. So it's not like you want to go to the beach and have your eyes sandblasted. Um, but I want to bring up stuff that has happened this week, which is we got burgled over in Minglanilia. Um Somebody broke into the store and stole a TV. The annoying thing is, um, sorry, frustrating thing is, that a TV that expensive should never have been in the store in the first place. And I'm, I'm sort of biting my lip a bit on that one. Because um, one of the things I will say in the Philippines is never have anything on show. Um, somebody put something there that obviously caused a little bit of an issue because they broke in and stole it. Um, <clears throat> The good thing is we did catch them on CCTV though, because we do have CCTV installed and we've got another CCTV system getting installed in another building as well um, to improve the cameras in the area and also ramping up the security of the house. We're putting a pit bull in the house as well, um, along with some other bits that I'm not going to discuss openly on YouTube. Uh, but <clears throat> I don't think it'll be long till we actually catch them, let's put it that way. I can't really speculate or talk about why right now because we're in the early days. But some of the things I will say that's quite useful with YouTube these days and Facebook and things like that is you can get stuff onto YouTube. Like I'll put the video at the end of here and you'll see it's not the best video. But bear in mind is from this to the screen um, because there's been no internet there because not everyone can log in with the IP address but the router needs to be set up with a server so I can get through the router security but anyway so the point being is people could actually see the number of people involved rough age and then it because we've got a timeline and everything we've got a lot more information from a lot more people having Facebook groups and stuff also meant that that information gets relayed to a lot of other people and you start connecting all the dots quite rapidly. Um, so I don't think it's going to be too long to actually get hold of somebody. Um, lesson learned, I suppose, is don't leave something of value. You'll get somebody to rob you. Um, the security is getting ramped up. Even on the store, we're putting steel shutters on it as well now. So it's not going to be an easy place to hit from twice anyway. Um, but once the pit bull's in there, that should deal with some of those issues as well um, but yeah that's just a bit of a warning for guys out there because I know some people have asked me about security in the Philippines but I want to stress a point that that sort of stuff would happen in the UK anyway the junkies in the UK are a major problem that nobody really wants to admit um, my parents have been burgled before um, where they forced the entry through the back door and basically stole TV, it's a while ago, video recorder, and jewelry, all sorts of stuff. Um, can't do that now, because the, the, the systems could be completely ramped up at the, the house there anyway. But the, the point being is, <clears throat> just be vigilant, that's all I can say on that. Uh, but it can happen anywhere. And I'm just glad nobody got hurt, or, if they had got hurt, hopefully it's on the end of the pit bull next time. Um, but it's, it's a little frustrating yeah, because, you know, uh, I, mean, I was talking to April about this before, well, earlier today, because it's like where people give kids shoes, you know, the flip-flops in the Philippines. And then the next time you see them, they ain't got them because they steal them from each other. Um, if you can't have anything of value how does somebody move forward from there how can you move forward from people that will steal the literally steal the shoes off your feet um now i would deal with it in a lot harsher way than most other people would given the opportunity but the point being is you have to it's the only way you can change people's um outlook because 
it's, if it's acceptable to steal people's shoes off their feet, what isn't? Um, and that, that is something seriously wrong in society. It's the same you get stuff in the UK with the junkies or just some mental job. Um, there is something fundamentally wrong with some things. And it's not an easy fix. It's not an easy fix. It's a, it's a failure in the way some people think. Now, I mean, you will get some people that are just crazy, but some people have had it brought, in, up, brought up from their parents and their peers and whatever, that it's okay to steal anything. It's fine. It's a weird world. But anyway, positive side. Um, I'm working on a power plant idea at the moment, and that's getting close to bearing fruit. Um, I'll update you once that starts moving, because we've just about got all the team together now, and I just need a couple of other people to pull their finger out, and then that should actually start doing something. Um, April's mother's visits now sorted for, I'm not sure, it's next. It's, it's definitely next month she's got her embassy visit. So once that's done, I can get April's mother over. And it's, I know it's been ages, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's not me. Um, it's, it's all, it's dealing with bloody embassies and illiterate officials in the Philippines. I do say illiterate in the sense that they bloody make spelling mistakes on everything. Um, how hard can it be? Birth certificate is wrong. Okay, well, maybe you should sit and learn to read and write properly and verify things. Then do exactly the same with the bloody passport. Because April's, um, April's mother's father, the name was misspelled on the birth certificate, which is why they wouldn't accept her for the passport. Then the, the same people that wouldn't, Accepted for the passport, misspell April's mother's name on the bloody passport. I mean, that's the hypocrisy of this. It's just bloody stupid. Um, but we're nearly there. Nearly there. But uh, that's it for this week. Not a lot 